What's up, Cincy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday, a spot where I review two Cincy cents with you each week. You voted last week. First and second place gets reviewed, and hopefully that will help you decide if cents going to work for you or not. Last week, we had 379 votes. So let's talk about our first place cent for the week. It is Disney, The Lion King in the Jungle. This one had 40% of the vote, and it has a really bright, pretty Kelly green color. This on Cold Sniff is between medium and medium plus, I would say. It's a limited time offer scent in the license section, and I would put this in the fresh category. So Sensi says, find yourself in a tropical oasis lush with emerald palm leaves, dewy bamboo, and exotic blooms that strike a perfect harmony. So this is a green, fresh scent. Green as in kind of like grass and dewy and bamboo, those kind of notes. But there is a little special something to this scent that kind of gives it a tiny bit of sharpness. And when I smelled it on cold sniff, I didn't say it out loud, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of aloe vera and ivy. Now for me, aloe vera and ivy, I don't get the watery melon part of that scent note, but I get the aloe and the ivy and all those other notes. But when warming it, it kind of reminded me of something like a fresh cut grass, plus an inhale exhale or an aloe vera and ivy plus an inhale exhale so inhale exhale i believe has like freesia and salted citrus and solar woods so it's a little bit of a green elevated scent very fresh lush that kind of scent so i thought this was going to smell like rainforest bungalow when i first got it rainforest bungalow is more basic in nature this one has a little bit of special something so I decided I had another bar here. So I warmed the whole bar. So I put six cubes in my open layout. Strength and throw at peak was about seven and a half, but it didn't seem to last very long. So I put it in at 1.30 in the afternoon. And when I came back at 7.30 from dropping my daughter off at skating, I couldn't really smell it. And I thought, well, that's kind of odd. I did leave it going a little bit, turned it off. The next time I uh, started it up, it, I would kick whiffs here and there of it, but it wasn't very strong. So I, I feel like I only got about six or seven hours in my open layout before I couldn't smell it. I did try, 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 but I would say I got a good six, seven hours of smelling. And I put the other two cubes in my son Ryan's room. He has a Spider-Man warmer. It did a bit better there because it's a small bedroom. It's our smallest bedroom in the house. So a peak, I would say it was about nine out of 10 on day one. So very strong when you walked in. Day two, I said at max, it was probably about three out of 10. And I left it going about a day and three quarters and then I removed it. So I think if you're someone that likes fresh green scents, something like fresh cut grass, rainforest bungalow, um, barefoot and free or whatever, wild barefoot and free, whatever that one's called. But you can imagine adding in inhale, exhale or, or aloe vera and ivy, kind of all those kind of notes, then I think you're probably gonna really wanna pick this one up. I really do enjoy those green type of scents. This one's a little bit maybe more exotic than I'd like, but I'm more of a plain Jane green. <laughs> for area, it's kind of tricky because it's probably strong enough for an open layout, but it doesn't have the stamina for an open layout. So I would say medium to small areas and be prepared that the first day is gonna be very strong and the second day is gonna be quite a bit of a, a dip. So scent appeal was good. I liked it, it was okay. Performance wasn't really, up to my expectations. So will this be a repurchase for me? Probably not, but if I saw one in clearance for a really good price, I'd probably pick it up. So that is in the jungle. All right, so let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Business Casual. This one had 28% of the vote and it's this really beautiful baby blue colored wax, light blue gray. And I would say on cold sniff, it's just, it's probably between light and medium. And this is a limited time offer sent in the Father's State collection. So we'll, they'll let us know when they're probably going to pull this, but sometimes scents do sell out. Uh, this was last available before that, I believe in June 2017's Bring Back My Bars. Now I'll read the scent description. It says, a fusion of exotic cardamom, intriguing caraway, lively pepper, and fragrant woods with a powdery wisp of orange blossom. All right, this is a really hard scent to describe and I wouldn't let those spice notes scare you. It doesn't really smell like any of those spice notes to me. So let's just get that out of the way. I guess where it says a powdery wisp of orange blossom, that's a floral. 
And we have woods. I definitely can see like a woodsy kind of backdrop to this. But this one I have written down, it's kind of an understated scent. It's smooth, sophisticated, but it's subtle. And like I said, no obvious spice, definitely maybe a little bit of woodsiness. Maybe I'd probably put this in the woods category. I don't know, but it's definitely type a masculine, you know, style scent. And some of those masculine scents can be like very cool or very warm and heavy. I feel like this one's kind of in the middle. It's not cool and bright, but it's not warm and heavy and spicy and BO type. It's kind of in the middle. <laughs> so I, re I remember talking about this, that, you know, business casual picture a man in a business suit. He gets on the elevator with you and he smells so good, but he's just a little too far away and you want to get a little closer. But then he gets off the elevator and then he's gone and you're you're left wanting more and that's the way i feel about this scent my husband actually complimented this both times when i warmed it he complimented it years ago he said it smelled like a fancy hotel and then when i warmed it this time he said oh drew's bedroom smells really good so he definitely really likes this one and i know john sparks is a big fan of this one so i actually had my old bar from 20 i assume this is from 2017 i probably picked this up somewhere and i had some testers and from previous experience, I knew it was on the lighter side. So I did put a little bit more than two cubes in my 25 watt in the meadow, meat in the meadow warmer. And it, it was only about five to 10 in my bedroom. So I put another cube in my bathroom. So I was at probably about three and a bit. And at the most, I would say it was six out of 10. And that was on day one. And then it just started to drop. Day two, it was, it was kind of like, I'm searching for it, searching for it. And sometimes I do struggle to smell these type of scents because if you ask me what is this closest to, maybe I would say my dear Watson, which I struggle smelling as well. Um, in Drew's room, I say I would say I put about three and a half cubes instead of three between two warmers. I probably needed to bump that up, but I'm somebody that doesn't like to keep adding extra cubes. I'm thinking to myself, if it doesn't use, if it doesn't perform with the amount of cubes that I normally use, it's probably just not a scent for me. I don't want to keep adding more, adding more. I just don't. So sometimes I will, but very rarely. So I endure room was about five and a half to six and I left going a couple of days, but again, first day, really nice. Second day, is it still going kind of thing? A little bit here and there I could smell. So like I said, if you like My Dear Watson, what about um, maybe Blue Sage and Tonka Ravenclaw? Because there's almost like a little bit of a suede note in this, I think. Anyway, I would say small bedroom scent or a bathroom. You could warm this all year. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that reminds me of, it's it's a, something when you meet a guy or, or a lady and they check all the boxes but one. And that's this. Because it's just not strong enough for me. I don't want it a boomer. I definitely don't want it a boomer. I just need it up a little bit. And I don't want to keep adding more and more cubes because I just, like I said, I don't like doing that. I don't feel I should have to. So will I repurchase this one <laughs> after saying all that I probably I have this one which is full and I have a little bit I may buy one more but that'll probably be it it's it kind of makes me sad I really like it just not quite strong enough for me but such an awesome scent probably my second favorite masculine scent ever right behind my hero so that is business casual all right now we're going to move to the portion of the video where i'm going to draw six cents and you guys are going to vote for two different cents by early wednesday morning down in the youtube comment section and if you can't vote on youtube because you don't have an account etc etc maybe you're watching on tv find my instagram post it's patricia gates and put your two votes there so what we're going to do is we're going to pick two old two new and then two bring back my bars just to give you guys a little bit of a switch up so for old let's see Oh, this one's old. <laughs> Scent number one is guava honey. I'm gonna reach in another bag here. Oh, this is a big one. Scent number two. Oh, it's actually not old. It's current. <laughs> Lush gardenia in the floral section. Scent number three is going to be Route 66. I just got my Father's Day items the other day. Scent number four is going to be sandalwood tangerine, and I haven't even smelled this, so I'm going to smell it now. Oh, this is what I would call a warm masculine scent. You can smell a little bit of that citrus. Anyway, 
that'll be interesting if you pick that one. So that's scent number four. And then we have a few Bring Back My Bars. So I'll pick a couple and see what battles it out to get in this week. Scent number, I'm not looking. Scent number five <laughs> is Very Perry Pumpkin. And scent number six. Is Zeppelin. So we have a <laughs> masculine, like fall heavy type of week to pick from. So just to review, we have Guava Honey, Lush Gardenia, Route 66, Sandalwood Tangerine, Very Peri Pumpkin, and Zeppelin. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. Don't forget to vote and I'll see you guys in the next video.